Hey, what's up? It's Onelfri from Onelfri.com, and I'm here with more traffic talk to help you generate more leads with your content. Let's get into it. So if you've been struggling with your content, um, it's not generating any leads, um, you're not seeing any actionable results, then keep listening. So if your content is not generating any leads, it's probably because um, it's not taking a fresh look on things or it might be boring. By fresh look, I mean um, it's been done many, many, many times by other people um, and it's just not taking a new approach to it. You've seen it a lot. Um, if a topic is uh, somewhat saturated, though, this might not be a bad thing because uh, you can do one of two things with this. You can use the skyscraper technique uh, created by Brian Dean or you can take an entirely new angle on the same content. So first I'll talk about the skyscraper technique, uh, which you can increase your search traffic by a whole lot if you do this correctly, guys. So, for example, um, a rather saturated topic can be something like how to succeed at internet marketing. Um, as you can see, 10 million results on Google. But this doesn't mean that you shouldn't write about this topic. Um, it just means that you have to do your due diligence and your research and apply the skyscraper technique. So the skyscraper technique says look at at least the top three posts of your keyword at, in Google and read them and see. What so click on those posts and see if they're high quality and uh, of course read them and see if you would actually share something like this with other people. So um, what you'll notice is that those top three results are probably really long and have a lot of good information in them and share a lot of value. The reason is because Google um, will give you the top spot if you do just that. You provide the most value. So what do you do now? You take those three and you make a better one. According to Backlinko, all the skyscraper technique does is find the tallest skyscraper in your space and slap 20 stories on top of it. You don't only want to use Google, you want to also use BuzzSumo. Um, and you can type in your keyword in here as well. And it's going to give you... So once you've typed it in, it's going to give you a list of articles and it's going to tell you which one of those have the most shares. So you see which articles are being shared the most. So you also want to read those and see why is it that people have shared them so much. And of course, apply the skyscraper technique and make it better. You can really find uh, articles that have been shared like crazy on here. You see that one, 50,000 shares, total 134,000 shares. So after you read those and done your research, the question is how are you going to make it better? You can make it better by design, better by more value, more content, more everything really. You can add more video, images, uh, infographics, data, charts, uh, graphs, just to make it better. But it doesn't stop there. Once you've actually produced the content um, and are about to publish it, you want to promote it. So you reach out to other people in your network. So you start to let other blog owners know, other people on social media, in that space that you're about to publish something that might interest them. And that's how you leverage your network. If you have 5,000 friends on Facebook, well then that's a lot of people that you can go through if they all have interest in your space that you're writing. So that's the end of Traffic Talk for tonight, guys. Uh, if you'd like more information, go to onelfree.com and make sure that you like my page on Facebook. Till next time.